Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be playing with some new Charlotte Tilbury. I have her new Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. This is the like little one with six pans in there. Just love it. And I also purchased one of her new Kissing Lipsticks. She came out with three that have like a bejeweled top and I purchased the nude one. What's the name? It's called Super Nude. <laughs> Here's the box that it comes in. So uh, we're gonna be doing a look with those two things. I'm really excited about this eye palette because I have her first one, the Charlotte Darling. That one's a lot warmer in tone, so I'm just really, really excited for this one. These palettes, to me, are like the perfect size. So here is the outer packaging, and then here is a close-up of the palette. Aren't those shades gorgeous? And they're very neutral, a little cool leaning for some of them. Very, very excited. I think this is perfect for the season. And here are some swatches. So on the back of this palette, uh, the first three shades are defined as the Day Eye. So we have the Prime, Enhance, Smoke, and Define shades. And then the last three shades are the Date Eye, <laughs> Prime, Enhance, Smoke, and Define shades. So yeah, why don't we just go ahead and do my eye and then we'll just move on to the lipstick because I pulled out a few other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I thought maybe were similar uh, and they're not. So we'll do some comparison swatches for the lipsticks, uh, but let's go ahead and start with my eye look. So I'm gonna go into this first shade over here on the left. And I've got my Sonia G Worker One brush. And I'm gonna run that along my lash line, add that to my outer corner. These shades are really like creamy, really, really creamy. I just did that um, easy, smoky eye look with the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. God, that's a lot of M's. And so I'm trying not to do the same look, but I feel like I feel like that's what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna try and use this black definitely to kind of like smoke out my eye. That's a little bit different than what I did for that video. That one I use like a dark brown. Anyway, that just came to mind when I started do, uh, using this palette. Wow, what am I saying? I'm gonna pop over into this uh, taupey shade. This is the Enhanced shade from the Date Look. And just gonna use the same brush. And I'm actually gonna sweep it over what I just laid down. I'm wondering if I can like neutralize that color a little bit. It's a little bit warmer than I thought. By the way, it is super early in the morning. I had to get an early start today because I have a really busy day ahead of me. So I just kind of like woke up and started filming. So if you see bed sheet marks, your eyes don't deceive you, <laughs> they're still there. Okay, I'm just gonna hop over into this dark black shade because I just wanna, just wanna get that on my eyes. So I'm going to use, let's see, let me start with a liner brush so I can just get that along my lash line and then I'll kind of smoke it out. I'm gonna take my Bristles Beauty brush, this is the E04RS. I'm gonna go into this black shade and I'm gonna work that into my lash line. So far I'm experiencing no fallout. All right, we got that black shadow like right into the lash line. I'm gonna take my Sony G Pencil 2 brush and this is like a chubby kind of pencil brush. And I just wanna build out that black. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the Worker One brush that I use. I'm gonna go into this shade here. This is the um, smoke out shade from the day look, the third one in. I'm just gonna take this lightly and kind of graze it over the black. I'm just hoping to blend it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my fluffy blending brush. This is the ESIM G34, and I'm gonna go into, well, I use these two kind of to start off with. I guess I'll use this shade here, the second one in. And then I'm gonna take the same brush, go into the palest shade, and I'm gonna drag that along the top right underneath my eyebrow. So I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, all the shades in here have the same finish. They're all this kind of like demi-matte, very, very soft satin kind of uh, finish. Then I'm gonna take uh, that black and add it to my lower lash line. Okay, first impressions of this palette. I think this black is very soft, which makes it very easy to work with, but if you want like something really, really dark, 
uh, I don't think you're going to get it. Do you see how it's kind of, it looks kind of sheer, but it's just kind of like a very dark gray. So that's just something to note. The other shadows I find to be really well pigmented. They all blend and I think perform really well. I really like this formula, but I feel like I had the issue that I have with a lot of other Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows and that this first shade, I mean, it looks like fairly neutral to me in the pan, maybe, maybe a little bit warm. Like this one definitely looks a little bit warm to me. This one I wasn't quite sure, but once I got this on the lid, I felt like it looked like it had a pretty strong like orange base. So again, just something to note. I don't know if that just happens. Maybe it's just like a trick of an eye or maybe it's like skin chemistry or something, but I do feel like that happens with a lot of Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows for me. I look at them in the pan, they look neutral, and then I get them on my eye and they look a lot warmer and with a lot stronger of like an orange base. But as soon as I put this one, this like taupey shade over it, I felt like it kind of neutralized it a little bit. But I really do like how all the shadows like performed and behaved. I really do think they blended really, really nicely. And I do really like the shade range that we have in here, like this neutral warmer and neutral cooler. All right, so those are my first impressions of the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. So let me go ahead and finish up my eye look. I'm just gonna add some mascara and then we'll move on to lips. All right, so here is the new Super Nudes lipstick. Of course, it looks just like all the other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, except it is bejeweled on the case. So I believe this is for the holidays. I really like those little crystals on top. So here it is in the bullet. It looks like a mid-tone neutral kind of nude, but let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, yeah. It looks like there's a touch of mauve in there, right? And this is the kissing formula. So this is her uh, like cream formula versus her matte revolution formula. Ooh, what a great nude. This is a little bit deeper <laughs> than the ones that I've been trying, which all have been really, really light, like the two Natasha Denona ones um, that I just purchased and the Orbeige from Chanel. All of those are like on the lighter side. This is a really nice kind of like rich nude. Ooh, I like this. And despite the fact that I feel like I see a little bit of like, like a mauve tone in there, like a very cool kind of mauve tone, I still feel like there's enough, like a peachy pink in there that keeps it from looking like too cool. I don't, I don't, I really don't mind like a cool toned lip that makes me look semi dead. But if you're not into that, this is a great kind of like healthy nude <laughs> color. And her kissing formula is fantastic. I don't know if you guys have tried it or not. It's just a wonderful creamy kind of lipstick formula. It's very pigmented. It's a little bit on the denser side. It takes a little bit longer to kind of like settle in and kind of like soak into your lips. And then once it does, it's just very, very comfortable. All right, let's do some quick comparisons for the super nude lipstick. So the first shade I thought of when I saw this super nude lipstick is a lipstick that uh, has been, I guess, discontinued from Charlotte Tilbury. I, it was limited edition, uh, so it only came out for a little while. I think she re-released it. Anyway, it is one of my all-time favorite nudes, one of my all-time favorite Charlotte Tilbury shades, and that is Confession. And I was hoping Super Nude was kind of like a, I don't know, like a renaming of Confession, but this one is actually lighter. So let me go ahead and swatch that next to super nude. So here's Confession and here is Super Nude. And then when I saw those two compared to one another, I thought, oh, is this kind of like glowing gen? So this was one that came in the refillable packaging and glowing gen, I remember, was a little bit deeper than I thought, but this one is not quite as uh, cool toned as Super Nude. So there is glowing gen. See how it's just kind of like brighter than Super Nude? So there's Glowing Jen. And then I thought maybe it was similar to Stoned Rose. So Stoned Rose is warmer. It's warmer than all of these actually. So there is Stoned Rose and that's super nude. And then lastly, I thought, let's just go ahead and compare it to Bitch Perfect, even though I know this is much lighter and pinker. So there is Bitch Perfect. Well, that is it for this video, trying out Charlotte Tilbury's new Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette and her Super Nude Lipstick. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.